If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. Yesterday, the Migos released their highly anticipated new album, Culture 3. This is a record that we've all been waiting for for such a long time, ever since Culture 2 came out in the beginning of 2018. There was, of course, talks of Culture 3 happening. And a couple of weeks ago, we actually got the announcement for it. We got some singles so far. We got this straight single we got that I needed single that you know ended up on the album and we got avalanche a day before the album dropped and from those three singles I was actually pretty excited for it those three singles, especially Straightening, and I talked about this in the past already, really embodied that classic Migo sound that you know we all fell in love with back before Culture and then around Culture. And I thought Avalanche I dropped the day before, which they kind of did a video for in a documentary type style, was also very interesting with them rapping over an instrumental that they've, you know, I haven't really heard them use before. And so we got the album on June 11th. I did a live listening party to it. Um, and, you know, a lot of you guys were there to, you know, react to, to it with me. And I have some problems with this record. There's some things I like about this. So let's talk about it. So the album starts off pretty strong with Avalanche that I already talked about with them rapping over this like, you know, jazzy saxophone beat that I actually think is a pretty cool intro to the album. It displays all three of their personalities and different styles very well. And I thought was just kind of it was a fitting entrance to the song. The next track, Having Our Way, featuring Drake, which of course a lot of people are going to gravitate towards, is not as bad as a lot of you guys make it out to be. On the live stream, you know, some of you guys said, oh, Drake's feature is just mid and all that. I thought Drake didn't do too bad on here. The energy he brought to the track, I think, was very fitting. I didn't think his verse was that weak. A lot of you guys said that too, so I was actually pretty happy with this. And also, the three of the Migos also did their thing on there, so this is like a great reunion for them. Then we had Straightening, which I already talked about, then Type Shit featuring Cardi B, which is just the basic Migos Cardi B song that you you would expect and that's also what I said in the live listening so not too you know unhappy about this because it's exactly what I expected then though we have Malibu featuring Polo G the worst feature on here probably one of the worst features Polo has ever done not necessarily because of what he did but just the placement of the feature on this instrumental is so bad Polo's voice doesn't fit the instrumental at all all um it just really ruins the track especially since he comes in very early on in the track so you can't really you know turn it off before he comes in so yeah that was really sad to see i i would have loved for polo to go hard on this or for him to have the opportunity to go hard on this but this was just trash birthday was a really solid track i thought um, modern day a lot of people are saying this is the best track they also dropped a video for it a couple of hours ago at the point of recording this i thought was you know it was all right um i didn't you know hate it too much same goes for a vaccine even though you know that's like a COVID song so I can't really take it seriously, but as a song itself, it's just a standard Migo song. Um, and that's also where some of the, you know, problems with this thing start. From the beginning, going into this, I knew that we were going to get some filler tracks, just some basic Migo songs like Culture 2 that we've just heard a thousand times before. And those tracks are very well represented on here. As I go through the track list, I'm going to point those out. But for now, you know, Modern Day and Vaccine are really that type. Um, Picasso featuring Future was really a surprise, though. I would have expected this to just be like a trap song with Future just going hard, but this was amazing. I love this track, like the from the, like the little smooth but still hard hitting instrumental to the way Future uses voice. This was this was it. Roadrunner is really like a hard hitting track, like just a classic Migos trap song. Offset carried this thing to the end, um, and that's like a theme we see throughout this whole thing. Offset is really the one carrying the Migos that was kind of you know evident in the past already, but some people are saying we're still saying like Quavo was the leader, blah blah blah. But we, it really kind of, it's crystallizing that, you know, Offset is really the best Migo. Anyway, World Winner was way too long, though. Um, at some point, these songs just drag on. I mean, this whole thing is an hour and 15 minutes and 19 tracks. And that's a problem that I'm going to mention at the end. Then 
we have What You See featuring Justin Bieber. This is, I like this. I really like this. Justin's hook is pretty cool. I like how they use their voices, so I'm all into this. Then Jane is just a basic Migos track again, just referencing Birkin bags and all that. And Tessosa featuring Juice World featured a very old Juice World part that we've heard before, but still, it kind of seems nostalgic. And the way that, you know, Takeoff comes in on this one too, I think is pretty cool. And I actually like this track quite a lot. And then from there on, why not Mahomes handle my business? They're just filler tracks. They're just, they they go on for so long. These tracks are all like five minutes. And, you know, during the listening party, you could probably tell that I was trying not to fall asleep because these tracks are really not it. Time for me is a little bit better. It switches, it's instrumental up a little bit. And then Light It Up featuring Pop Smoke is really not a highlight either. And then we have Needed featuring Youngboy, which, you know, we've heard before. So yeah, the, the problem with this thing is really that they didn't learn from Culture 2. They still put a lot of filler tracks on here culture 2 was still five tracks longer but look at culture 1 it did it so perfectly it was you know shorter but it was concise to the point and if they would have just left out those tracks i'm talking handle my business mahomes why not jane vaccine modern day if they would have just left those out this thing would have been way more enjoyable you know some of these tracks are five minutes long and although i like how all of their you know different styles blend together and they really have some chemistry going on when it works um for some of these tracks it's just not it this has worked in the past for them when they were coming up because they were just throwing a bunch of songs at us and we were just you know just trying to see what sticks but um it i don't know at this point they're at a big superstar level that they should be more you know selective with what they put on their record culture one again is my uh, favorite uh, culture album still 13 tracks was perfect for an album um and that really made each track special these filler tracks are just really not it and you know some of these parts some take or quay i don't really care about because they're so monotone now i gotta be real offset I was very excited for listening to this. You know, in the listening party, whenever Offset came on, I was I was just hyped because I knew it was going to go hard. And he really carried this whole thing, which is something that I should really give him credit for. And I'm so excited for his solo album um, or whatever solo album he has coming out next. So, yeah, that's really what I take from this. Uh, so way too long, way too just tedious and stretching out. Um, it was really tough sitting through this again after, you know, I did the live listening party. But yeah, it was it was a drag. Anyway, that's what I think about this. Now I want to know what you think about this. Do you think this thing is good? Is it bad? What songs did you like? What songs didn't you like? Did you think this was too long? And what do you think they could improve on the next one if we ever get a culture for? That's what I want to know. So let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.